Okay, sorry about the shakiness here, but um, I don't have a tripod for this Android. I'm going to have to hand hold it. But what we're going to try to do is set up the Futaba 8J in front of me to uh, automatically yaw the Phantom at a predetermined rate with the flip of the switch. So prior to doing this, this, is, this was unassigned. So I'm going to use this switch. And when we're done, flipping that switch will activate uh, the yaw and the rate of yaw will be uh, determined by where the set we where we've preset it by the digital trim six or five so we've got digital trim five or six i'm going to use or four six or five and i'm going to use the five for this so let's go inside the radio and see how to accomplish that uh before i go away let me move on down in here and uh you can see the output of this um here's dt5 right there and you notice it's set for eight percent right now well as i move the momentary switch i can increase it by a factor of four percent and that means that it will be biasing or plusing or minusing that percentage from the um, channel that i assign dt5 to which of course is going to be the rudder channel okay let's give her a try uh, the setup for this isn't extremely complicated on the Futaba 8J, you'll want to go into screen 3. You notice up the right-hand corner, we're in screen 1-3. So let's go to screen 3-3. Three, three. And up to P-mix 1-6. to six. That's proportional mix 1-6. to six. And I'll enter that. And you notice I've got a menu here uh, from normal to curved uh, types of mixes. And we're going to use a normal mix. This is a proportional mix. We're actually going to be mixing, as you can see, DT5, the digital 5 trim switch, and we're going to be mapping uh, it onto the rudder so that uh, an adjustment on the DT5 uh, on DT5 will translate into a proportional adjustment on the rudder. So I'll enter that. The rate, I'm going to set it at 50%. That means half of what I do on DT5 will be translated into the rudder channel. Uh, it could be 100%, but that's how sensitive you want the adjustment to be. So I've got it set at 50%. Here, um, if you think about it, this is self-explanatory. We've got a master and a slave. The master is the DT5 channel. The slave is our rudder channel. So whatever we do to DT5, a proportional response will be generated on the rudder channel. And uh, we want the switch to be assigned over here to uh, switch A, I have to look down, switch A. Um, we could, well, so I have to look at our controls, B, switch C. So you assign it to what switch you want. Switch A was free and I thought it was handy, so that's what I've got. We'll see that the mix um, in the upper right hand corner is on and the position is down. That says switch A, translated into English, is switch A is on when it's in the down position. Uh, if I were to switch the switch to off, then that would mean the position is uh, off with down. I want it on with down. So you want to verify that and put it the way you want it. Otherwise, DT5 is mapping to the rudder. We're using switch A and it'll be on when it's down and the amount of mix is 50%. So uh, I'm going to back out of this, I've got to hit the end, and um, the Futaba's got a real handy little screen here that shows you the position of all the servos when, uh, uh, when they're activated, for example, well not the servos themselves, but the output of the, of the radio. So here's actually the rudder, and you can see I'm moving the rudder channel. But I can do it also now, after the setup, on uh, DT5. So channel 4 is the rudder, and DT5 is now bringing it down, or up. So, I'm turn the light back on. Uh, we'd probably set this up for a minimal amount of rotation. So, there's about 4 or 5, what does that say? No, it doesn't give me feedback, but 
set it wherever you need it. You can watch that, by the way, in real time. You uh, move the DT5 digital trim, um, and it will. You can watch what happens on the Phantom. Set it where you want it, and then as I flip the switch, you'll see it turn on and off. Now I'll have to increase it so you can really see what's going on. All right, so there it is on, there it is off. So in in uh, real life, so to speak, we would be flying along. We'd want to do our rotation, flip the switch, and the rudder channel would be uh, given that amount of, of input until we flip the switch off.